All right, well, I heard from someone that yesterday's Fibble was interesting, didn't have time to look at it, and so I thought, maybe I'd do a double Fibble again. I haven't done one of these for a little while. These are kind of fun. So if you're not familiar with Fibble, it's just like Wordle, except on every line, one of the clues is a lie or a fib. And I'm going to try and do both of them at the same time. The one on my left is yesterday's puzzle. The one on my right is today's puzzle. Uh, Fibble is one of those that lets you go back and do previous puzzles easily. So that's kind of nice. Didn't even need the time machine. It's just built into the website. So um, I'm going to guess the same word on both puzzles and try and solve both of them. Now, it's interesting. We've got mostly grays on the left and all grays on the right. So, I mean, we, reusing the Y would be good. Interesting that the Y, well, okay. Okay, right, right, right. This is Fibble. I gotta remember this is Fibble. <laughs> I was gonna say, interesting that the Y is not at the end. But, right, 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 right. Okay, Fibble, Fibble, Fibble. I haven't done a Fibble for a little while. So this could be the lie. There could be a Y at the end. In fact, if there is a Y, it's most likely to be at the end. So there's a decent chance that is the lie, either because it's supposed to be gray and there's not a Y, or because it's green. That doesn't mean that it's necessarily the case, but um, there's a good chance that is the lie, which would mean that we have nothing but maybe a Y at the end. Uh, and over here, we definitely, ooh, ooh, right, right, five grays means we definitely have one of these letters in the word. And if the Y is true here, then we definitely have one of these letters in the word. So maybe let's try something with an I. There's an I in both of those. Um, and and the Y at the end again. Um, you know, if I was just doing the left one, I'd probably do something like irony. That would be good to repeat some of those letters and look for contradictions. And if I was doing just the one on the right, I might do smite or something. That would be pretty good, but how about smiley? I don't know if that's uh, actually a correct spelling of smiley, but let's try it. No, I didn't think so. It's E-Y probably. Ah, ah, spiny would be good, spiny. That's going to do some repetition. Uh, not as much repetition on the left, but it'll do repeat three letters on the right so we can try and look for a contradiction Hopefully and figure out where the lie is. So let's do spiny. Okay. Oh Of course, of course Couldn't get a contradiction that would be too easy. Okay um, All right uh, over here. We've got so we got a contradiction so one of the two Y's is a lie Right so if this is the lie, then the yellow eye is true. If this is the lie, then the gray eye is true. Right, so so one of the Y's is a lie, one of the I's is a lie, the rest of these have to be true. It's kind of like an X-wing in Sudoku in a sense. There's no way for the lie on one of these two rows not to be the Y or the I, basically. Okay. So, so we know that. So there's an S at the beginning. Good, good. Um, and there's either an I or a Y, but not both, which is kind of interesting. So if again, if I was just doing this one, I'd probably guess something like silly. Now that would be a good guess there. But over here, oh man. So either the S, P, and I are true or the lie is in the same spot on both rows. Hmm. What if it's something NT? That could be possible, the T could be the lie, the N could be, oh, but if the N is true, right, 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 if the N is true, then there has to be an S, P, I, or Y. Right, 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 so if the N is true, yeah, it could be N, Y, though. I was gonna say there's probably an S, P, or I, which is the lie on both. If the N is a lie, then those are all true, which means the T or the E was the lie up here. So it can't be NT. In fact, if it's an N, then we either have to have a Y, or one of these is the lie on both. Okay. Um, let's do, let's do Minty. That's a decent. 
Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Minty. Ooh, okay. So, right. So, now we know, again, one of these two eyes is a lie. Right? They can't both be true. One of them is a lie. Whichever one of these is a lie, on that row, the gray Y has to be true. Which means it has to be true on both, which means it's the lie there, which means this is true, which means that's the lie, and that's true. And all we know is the S, and... Uh, we know the N is true. So, if the M, if there is an M, then this M is true, because it can't be green, obviously, the S is green. So if there is an M, then this M is true, which means the T is a lie. So either there's an M and a T, or there's no M or T. There's either both or neither. And over here, uh, we've got one of the Y's is a lie, and one of the N's is a lie. Therefore, the I's are true, the T is true, uh, actually everything, everything else on, ooh, on those rows is true, which means the M is true. Okay, we know these are all true, we know this is true, so the E is the lie, so there's an E, there's an N or a Y, and there's an M. That is interesting. Okay, so, we know there's an there's no I, there's no Y. Okay, so we don't know anything about vowels. We know there's no I or O or Y, but we don't know what vowel is in the word. So, if there's an M, then there's also a T. Smart. No, we can't do smart. So there's no R. Uh, st stump would work. No, there's no P. Hmm, interesting. What would be, what would have a T and an M, an A or U? I'm not sure, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe both of those are supposed to be gray. The M is the lie and the T is true. But over here, we know we have an M. Uh, we know there's an E, so something like money isn't a terrible guess. Although we know that's not where the M is, but Let's do, let's do named. That's gonna check the N again, the M again, E. It's gonna reuse a few letters that we think and or know are in the word. As well as A and D that are new letters. And over here I wanna check A, and it also lets us kinda repeat some letters that one we know is not in the word, one we think could be in the word. Actually, no. I think I want to do the T. I think I want to do the T here, because we don't know whether there's an M and a T or neither. So let's do meant. Let's go with that. Ooh, okay. That's surprising. Okay, here. So, right, so one of these two M's is a lie, which means the T has to be true, because... Uh, whichever one of those is a lie, the T is true on that row, so it has to be true on both, which makes this the lie, because it's the only one left in the row, so this is true then... Right, because that can't be green, because we know the S is true, so there's no M, there's no T, we know there's no N. So either there's an A and an E, or neither one of them. Again, well, the A could be yellow, the A could be yellow, if there's no E. But otherwise, all we have is the S so far. Okay. All right, and over here, we know this M is true. Ah, we know the T is the lie, because there's no T. Okay, so that's the lie, so the rest of these are true, which means this is true, which means the Y is the lie. Uh, this is true, which means this is the lie, that's true. So again, not a lot, but we got the greens here. The greens here were huge, because the rest of these all ended up being grays. No Y, no N. No T. So, E, A, and there's an M, fourth or fifth. So, if it was E, A, M like that, what would be at the end? We can't do an S. Feels like, ooh, Realm. Realm is good. Realm is good with an M at the end. We haven't done an L yet. Okay, Realm is really good there. What about over here? What are we thinking? It could be E-A, I mean, it could be, no, there's no M. I was gonna say, it could be E-A something M, but, uh, so there's S, it could be S-E-A, if the E is the lie. That's all we have, though. I think Realm is really good there. 
tempted to just go with that, even though it's not as helpful on the left, but I'm worried there's another possibility I'm not thinking of. If it was SEA, what would that be? It could be something like SEALs. There was another S. So maybe, maybe Realm isn't terrible then. Um, yeah. Let's do Realm. Let's go for it. Answer was Realm. All right. Good. So, what that does, for, I mean, obviously it solves the puzzle, but the great thing that that does for us by guessing it now, instead of trying some other things and guessing it eventually, is now we can do whatever we want on the left and not have to worry about the right. Because that one's done. Okay. So, ooh, well we know the R is the lie. Because we know the first letter is an S. So this is the lie, the rest are true. Therefore this is true. That's the lie. So we have an S and an A somewhere. And, oh, we also know that that's the lie because there's no R. We already knew there was no R. So all we have is the S and an A somewhere. Something like sauce. There's no E. There's no Y. We could do sauce or saucy. Um, which isn't the answer, but... Does let us look for some contradictions while trying some new letters. Let me go with that. Okay, so we know this is the lie. The rest of these are true. So it's S something U, and then we need to have an A either next, which doesn't feel great, or an A at the end. What is that though? Neither one of them seems great. You know, something, ooh, uh, oh no, I was gonna say scuba, but there's no C. So it's S something U something A, I think, or I don't I don't like A after the U. I think the A is more likely at the end. Scuba. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. We just made this mistake the other day. You got to remember the Q can go before the U. We just had squat, but it can't be squat because there's no T. Squa is possible. Squad is also possible. Squab, I think that's a thing too. So D, W, or B? Maybe? I mean, if it's one of those three, then we're good, because we got three guesses left. So let's go, I think squad is the most likely. Let's go with that. Oh, it was it. That was it. Okay, there we go. Awesome. So, uh, cool. Well, we had two more guesses, so I think we were okay. Um, but, all right, there you go. Very cool. So squad and realm. All right. Tricky one there. Uh, squad for sure was tricky, so I can see why somebody said yesterday's was interesting. Uh, and especially since we just had squat a couple, two, three days ago as the wordle answer, I think. So, um, and realm, I don't think this one would have been quite as hard if I was doing it by itself. Uh, it was a little tricky trying to do them together, but anyways, there you go, a double fibble. So let me know how you did with yesterday's fibble, today's fibble, if you tried them together or if you've done a double fibble before, how that went for you. Um, I think they're kind of fun. And of course, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. Part of a water system that flows from right here at Lake Okeechobee in Central Florida out to the Gulf of Mexico. The name Okeechobee. Okay, so not, not Africa, but Northeast. Okay, so we're in the Middle East then, probably. Because it is pretty warm. Uh, oh, no, 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 it's not because the A is at the end. Uh, it's going to be extra. Um, oh, and Oxide. We would have had the X from Oxide. 